Hello and welcome to Bull and Bear Invest Chatter. Today is the 27th of January and we're going to be looking into Thor Mining PLC. So firstly a little bit of an introduction into Thor Mining. Thor Mining have several large projects in the pipeline at this time. We've got the Orford East Copper Project in South Australia, the Ragged Range Gold and Copper Project located in the Pilbara Craton in Western Australia, the Kapunda Copper and Gold Project in South Australia, um, the Orford East Copper Project in South Australia, and the Wedding Bell Uranium and Vanadium Project in the USA. We'll break down these projects a little bit later in this video. However, focusing on some of the latest news, Thor Mining have also raised £750,000 um, by means of a new London-based investor. Uh, this money is going to be utilised for exploration activities at the Ragged Range, Orford East and Uranium and Vanadium projects in the United States of America. The CEO of Thor Mining is also very engaged with his investors and is very active on Twitter. The trends that I have noticed is Mick Billing will tweet shortly before major news is released. For example, Mick tweeted on January the 25th, watch out for news on Thor projects in 2021. And on Tuesday the 26th of January, the release of the Maiden Copper Gold Mineral Resource Estimate was provided for the Orford East project. Additionally, on the 2nd of December 2020, a tweet was submitted for Ragged Range, looking very promising, watch this space. Lo and behold, eight days later, on the 10th of December, the RNS was released for the significant magnetic targets identified in the Pilbara Ragged Range project. The Orford East ISR project in South Australia has just had its Maiden Copper Gold Mineral Resource Estimate released. This document states that 177,000 tonnes of copper, 71,500 ounces of gold is possible within this claim. The concentration of copper within this claim is estimated at 0.14%. We can compare this to the Enviro Copper Limited claim southwest of the Orford East Mine, and their concentration is 0.17%. These claims benefit from local access to highways and mains electricity being supplied. Additionally, both mines are using a technique called in situ recovery. I will explain what in situ recovery is next, however, it is worth noting that local ISR experts are available. So what is in situ recovery mining? In situ recovery is a non-invasive mining method using delivery wells. These are drilled into an ore body through which a diluted sulfuric acid solution is pumped to dissolve the target minerals or metals. In this instance, our target minerals are copper and gold. The solution moves through the rock in a controlled manner to the drilled recovery wells where it is then pumped back to the surface for processing. The drilling of the wells is key to ensure that solutions can be pumped back to the surface to be processed rather than being pumped outside of the mining area. In situ recovery is by far cheaper than conventional mining methods as it does not require digging down to the ore body for extraction. Moving on to the 100% owned Ragged Range project. Ragged Range is situated in the Western Australia. During the Airborne Magnetic Survey, significant magnetic targets had been identified, and these are due for closer inspection early in 2021. Additionally, anomalous stream sediment gold suggests that mineralisation occurs close to the surface. This is important as this will reduce the cost of extracting the metals from the ground ultimately meaning greater profits. For those that have been following Greatland Gold, Ragged Range is situated almost adjacent to the Greatland Gold's Panorama project. Greatland Gold released some fantastic RNS data, quoting, exciting gold prospects, and four samples returned gold values in excess of 100 parts per billion with one sample exceeding the upper limit from the laboratory of greater than 2,000 parts per billion. 
Although these are two separate claims, the data can be cross-referenced to some extent to expect some fantastic results from the Ragged Range mine. Pilot Mountain in the USA. This is the largest reported tungsten resource in the entire United States of America. Thor mining is 100% equity within this resource. And an important geological observation is Skarn style mineralization at four primary locations has been seen. Skarn is a metamorphic rock that has been chemically and mineralogically altered by metasomotism. Metasomotism is an alteration of the rocks by hot, chemically active fluids that flow and diffuse through rocks and cause recrystallization and compositional changes. Some of the world's best copper, gold, lead, tungsten and zinc deposits have been found in Skarn. The Molly Hill Tungsten Project is located in Australia. This has been granted the major project status by the Granter of Northern Territory of Australia. This means that they have great faith in this project bringing in a boost to the economy of Australia. Molly Hill is expected to be the most higher grade open pit tungsten mine in the Western world. It currently holds a reserve of seven years worth of resources for open mining with the potential to extend the project underground. This is another site that Skarn type mineralization has been visualized and the definitive feasibility study conducted in 2018 suggests a profitable production with low operating costs. The site is also fully permitted for further developments should they be required. Now briefly covering the US uranium and vanadium projects. These are showing high grade uranium of 1.25% of uranium 308 and a high grade vanadium 3.4% of vanadium 205. The observations suggest sandstone filled paleo channels hosting uranium and vanadium. In short, this means uranium and vanadium used to flow in an ancient river and these have now been deposited in the ancient river bed. Thor have drilling scheduled in March and April 2021 for this site, which we hope is going to identify the location of the uranium and vanadium pockets within this site. Taking a look at Thor mining share price history, we've seen the year high of 1.275. The last time the share price was at this value was in February 2019. We've also seen a year low at 0.135 on the 19th of March 2020. The majority of UK stocks plummeted at this time due to the announcement of the national lockdown for preventative measures to protect us against COVID-19. This forced the majority of companies to cease trading and close. I'm certainly excited to hear what Thor Mining are going to be releasing in news in the early part of 2021 and see how that will affect the share price. Well, what do we have coming up in the early part of 2021? The drilling program to be designed and implemented at the Orford East over the next few months to investigate the extent of the oxide mineralization we have additional geophysics data to be reviewed and that will assist with the mapping at the Orford East mine. We've also got the Ragged Range Magnetic Anomalies investigation results. These are the most significant magnetic anomalies identified from the Airborne Magnetic Surveys. Additional to all of this, we have the drilling schedule for the early part of 2021 at Ragged Range and the US Uranium and Vanadium projects. If you found the content in this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bull and Bear Invest Chatter.